So today we are going to be talking about some leaks, rumors, and just all of that good stuff surrounding the second season of Zombies Inside Black Ops 4 because uh, I'm sure you guys have heard this going around, but it's only really been a rumor and it really all stemmed from a single quote from Jason Blundell when he was talking about zombies. I think at the development development uh, interview with, I want to say, Grand Heist, I believe it was. I'm not exactly sure, but regardless, it stemmed from him just saying that this this is going to be the end for the chaos storyline for this season of zombies and a lot of people took that to mean that we're going to get another season of zombies aside black ops 4 but for me for the longest time i just thought well he's probably just talking about this season because i mean we've had the seasons of zombies just being the season pass so i just thought that's what he was talking about and thinking that you know the, the season he's talking about is black ops 4 season and then the next season is going to be like in whatever black ops 5 or whatever it's going to be so that's what i assumed but of course now with new leaks showing and coming up like that's from actual credible leakers i mean it's starting to make me believe but i don't want to believe so i'm not going to jump on this train just yet because i mean it is it is really exciting but i'm not going to do it i'm going to wait till it's official but either way i do want to talk about the leaks because they are quite exciting but if you guys are wondering where these leaks are coming from and why i'm actually talking about them is because they're coming from the Wii lads and the Wii lads if you guys don't know they are by far the most credible leakers for Call of Duty and it's not even close to be completely honest I mean nobody gets leaks right as often as they do it's just that it is and that's the reason why I'm even talking about them but again even with that said I'm personally not going to jump on this hype train because I just don't want to set myself up for failure but anyways as you guys can see on screen here's a little chain of tweets from the Wii lads that is talking about it it's three tweets put together and what I'll do I'll quickly read through all of these and then we'll just of course I'll tell you exactly what I think about them and just do some speculation after that so anyways uh we keep getting asked about uh, zombies in uh, zombies in 2019 through 2020 season zombies will continue in black ops 4 outside of the first black ops pass chaos is finished for this season but not for black ops 4 ether will be the rest of this season as you know maps in production will be listed from the tweet below so what they mean by that because it's not exactly clear is that these are going to be the maps inside the second season of zombies or supposedly and what they say is it's going to be that's kind of enlarge that yeah, there we go it's going to be nuketown call of the dead green run transit uh, die rise buried these maps are planned to have their own gauntlets griefs and possibly turn modes the second season black ops 4 zombies will have two chaos maps uh with the aforementioned ether maps and we get this last one here um Five and Mob of the Dead may have faithful remasters too instead of reimagines as they currently are inside Black Ops 4. This is subject to the developmental changes. Call of the Dead is planned to be a faithful remaster whereas Transit is planned to be a bit more unique. So this is quite interesting. I want to kind of go over the... Ooh, what's the... Okay, anyways... um. Anyways, okay, we're not getting distracted by that, but let's go over this, these uh, sets of tweets and I'll tell you exactly what I think about them. So, the first thing and probably the least important thing is when this is actually happening because they say from 2019 to 2020, so season 2 is supposedly going to be starting this year instead of like next year or something like that, like you would normally expect out of a zombie season because season passes normally come out and your first map in your season's DLC 1 and that's normally in February or something like that, except this year actually, or this for Call of Duty because Black Ops 4's DLC 1 came out in December, but for the most part, that's how it's worked. So I imagine since DLC 4 does come around uh, late, I guess, or I guess is it normally the mid of summer, somewhere around there, we'll probably get some more of these uh, remasters slash new maps mixed in towards the end of this year, kind of when, I guess, Modern Warfare is pretty new and all that stuff, Modern Warfare 4, or again, I'm not sure if it's going to be Modern Warfare 4, or just saying that for simplicity, but I guess that's something to look forward to that's going to probably start at the end of this year and then continue into the 20th. 2020 and we'll see how that all turns out but as for the maps that are supposed to be uh including this most of them as you obviously are able to tell they are remastered so they're going to be nuketown call of the dead transit die rise and buried so uh these ones i honestly uh, couldn't care about nuketown i mean call of the dead will be cool uh, we'll get to transit. We'll come back to that because there's more to that to later. Um, die rise, whatever. I mean, some people will be happy if, uh, especially if you're a part of some Zombros podcast. But 
but uh, couldn't care less about Die Rise. Uh, Buried is uh, cool. I mean, I don't got a problem with playing it. I mean, I don't, don't have anything against the easiest map in the history of zombies, so I mean, whatever. But I mean, they all seem cool. Don't have a problem with any of them. It's just personally, I kind of look forward to the, you know, I guess the newer things instead of the uh, kind of remasters. Don't get me wrong. I love remasters. I want to have maps remastered, but I mean, personally i like the newer maps i like to see new maps coming out more than uh remasters but regardless the uh, other thing they say and what i really like to hear about this is because these are remasters right and i mean yeah again not, like i just finished saying i like remasters but i want some new things but this could actually kind of freshen up because it says the maps are planned to have their own gauntlets and we'll get to the other two in a little bit because those are their own little subject because there's more to that than just what's said there but gauntlets i mean with that said i mean we're probably going to have like gauntlets for every single map and if this is all true we're going to have like 17 to 15 maps assuming if mob of the dead and five are going to be uh remade remade instead of reimagined i mean it could be 15 let's just say 15 for now i mean that means we have 15 different gauntlets and for these maps that i mean are older maps i mean what these gauntlets could do is kind of add something new to them because again these are just remasters for the most part except again we'll get to transit i can't stress that enough but it would add something new to the maps and i really do because i personally do like gauntlets and i just love to play more gauntlets and I mean, I would love to see the gauntlet mode inside older maps. I just would love to see how they actually played out. But of course, uh, the other things is that grief and possibly turn mode. So what's interesting about that is that grief and turned. I mean, those modes are from Black Ops 2. And if they are going to be added into Black Ops 4, I mean, I'd love to see them for every map. Now, me personally, never was a big fan of grief or turn. Still am not to this day. I could care less if they showed up. But again, have nothing against them showing up. So, you know, go ahead and add them in. I'll probably play them a couple times. Not too much, unless other people want to play. But regardless, I mean, I, I don't got a problem with those added in. And I'd love to see them added in. And then, of course, you have the two chaos maps, which I'm really pleased with because instead of waiting three years for an next chaos map we only have to wait a year about or maybe even a, a little bit over half a year you know somewhere around there i mean more i mean the more unique new maps from treyarch the more i mean the more the better that's how i see it so uh i'd love to see that and what i really like about this is that i don't think this should mess up with their development of the next game that they're working on because instead of but anyway, instead of focusing on making some new unique maps for every single time, like for every single map inside the next season, they could just work on two unique ones and then just remaster other ones so it shouldn't hurt the development of Black Ops 5 or whatever it's going to be. So, I mean, I'm I'm pleased with how that how they're planning to go about that. They could work on remakes and maybe the unique maps or the two new unique chaos maps, which would be just great to see. And I just like how they're handling more than anything because, I, like, I guess how they did with uh, uh, Zombies Chronicles, they kind of like just completely worked on remasters and that's it and I mean I'm fine with that but again I'd love to just see a couple of new unique maps mixed in there also so I know it's just something that I really like what I'm seeing out of this now of course with all this said I think you guys can notice something that there's a lack of any new ether maps and this probably means if this is true again that we're probably going to see the end of the ether storyline inside DLC 4 but uh, we're not going to get into too much of that in this video but of course, ending this off with this last tweet, of course he says 5 and Mob of the Dead may have their faithful remasters instead of reimagined that they are, currently are inside Black Ops 4. Now, I could care less about 5. I do not like 5, I think 5 is one of the worst maps, and I don't care what anybody says, it's an awful map. I don't like it, nor do I like Classified. W awful maps, they're just not fun to play on. So I could care less about this game, Faithful Remaster, whereas the other hand, Mob of the Dead, this needs a Faithful Remaster because Blood of the Dead does this game, does that map zero service. I mean, it embarrasses what Mob of the Dead was. I mean, if people never played Mob of the Dead and they play uh, Blood of the Dead, and they're just going to think, what, this, this map's awful, man. I mean, the Easter egg's too much of a grind. The map is way too long, and it's just not fun to move around the map. And, I mean, there's a lot of problems with Blood of the Dead that Mob of the Dead just did not have. And it's just kind of a shame to see that, because if we don't get a remaster Mob of the Dead, I mean, we're probably going to, unfortunately, just have uh, Blood of the Dead to play on. And if we ever want to play Mob of the Dead, we have to go back and play Black Ops 2. And uh, that I would find very unfortunate because I would love to see a remaster Mob of the Dead. That's one thing I really hope. I mean, screw all the other maps. I don't care if you like all the other maps. I care about Mob of the Dead. I want Mob of the Dead <laughs> to remaster more than anything. But anyways, uh, I think we should also remaster the Rising Rocket, just saying, but uh, whatever. Um, anyways, uh, 
that's all I really have to say with here, but ending this off on what they say about Transit, because as you guys know, I skipped over Transit earlier, but what he says here is Call of the Dead is planned to be a faithful remastered, whereas Transit is planned to be a bit more unique. So... I'm actually excited for this because, like I said, I want to see new things or even changes up to older maps. I mean, imagine if we have a good transit. Imagine if they fix the problems with transit. One being Pack Punch. If you guys remember how big of a pain Pack Punch was inside Black Ops 2, I mean, it was so bad. You had to get a stupid uh, turbine, you had to put it in the powerhouse, hope zombies don't destroy it, and then you have to make your way all the way to the town and still hope zombies don't destroy it. And then you have to go to the, of course, safe inside the bank and you have to get the Pack Punch from there and then build pack bunch and then if you ever wanted to leave pack bunch and then come back you gotta hope that your turbine didn't break at the powerhouse which for some reason it randomly does or a zombie just went and killed it so i mean it's just um, things that should be fixed also getting around the map should be better uh denizens also i mean there's just so many things about transit that could be fixed i'm really hoping they do with that but imagine this and I mean, if there's one thing I could ask them to do is, dude, imagine if Transit had a bus route B. What if that's what they're talking about, dude? I would love to see Transit bus route B. That would be the biggest, I guess, uh, what do you want? What should I call it? I mean, a love note to the zombies community, adding in bus route B to Transit. Dude, that'd be hype, dude. I, I would love to see that. But anyways, uh, that's really all I got to say about uh, all of these tweets, honestly. But uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think about them do you guys believe in them do you guys not anything like that i'd love to hear though you talk about these down in the comments also tell me what you guys if you guys like if this is true if you like how they're planning to do this or not i just love to hear all that down in the comments but uh that's about it for me if you guys uh, did enjoy the video go ahead do all the normal youtube stuff like subscribe bell share and especially bell but i'm gonna go and i'll catch you guys next stream video or whatever it may be but ladies guys